have a literacy crisis in New York. Because the Bronx is where the Bronx is, people can live in New York and never see District 7. How is it that I can live in the literary capital of the world and not have a bookstore? I didn't step foot inside of an independent bookstore until I decided to open one. You see it very clearly where the economics of the Bronx has excluded bookstores from being a commercially viable enterprise. How do you convince a bookstore to come to the Bronx when the stereotype is that people may not want to learn and may not want to spend money to buy a book? The Bronx is the most diverse borough in New York City. It's largely Hispanic and largely immigrants. The shock of knowing now there are zero general interest bookstores in the Bronx seemed outrageous and surreal. At the same time, it wasn't enough to begin with. We have a lot of wealth in this world. There's a lot of development coming. But why don't we have a literary community? The Renaissance is happening. This question of who's next, what bookstore will come up next, maybe in the Bronx, or not just a bookstore, but a literary space of some kind. People felt drawn to the Bay Plaza location. Because they promised that they would come back. Space was still being held, and unfortunately we haven't heard from Barnes & Noble. I am tired of hearing that the Bronx is not reading. I see the Bronx as an oasis. Yes, people in the Bronx read. Why are there no school libraries in elementary schools? How are you going to learn how to read? Wow, I can read for fun instead of just wanting to learn. We need a book festival every week in the Bronx. There's always an exception to a model. Resilient people will find a way to break out of that mold. BX all day, every day. It's lit.